What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Carmelo Craig, Grimbala Hollow. You got the wife out here messing with me. Spending some family time and trying to deal and cope with this whole situation. Let's talk about, let's talk a little football. I have been hearing a lot of crazy stuff, and obviously due to the fact that a lot of people have been coped up inside and not had the time to go outside and, and kind of exhale and, and enjoy the fact that their team has, has improved in the season. You got 49ers, well, they, they kind of got picked like a cherry tree. Uh, everybody's going after the 49ers and just pretty much signing up every player that they got. Um, <laughs> Miami's building up their team quietly. Tampa Bay is doing as well. Um, even uh, Atlanta, you know, signing players. Now, I don't get why Carolina signed our backup quarterback. You know, that's going to be very easy for us to digest, right? I mean, we're gonna, I mean, dissect. I mean, we're going to be able to just play around Carolina with no problems. But uh, Atlanta, uh, Tampa Bay looks like it's going to be just the, the one team that's going to give us some some competition this year in our, in our division. So that looks good. You got people from other divisions, like San Francisco getting mad at us. We got people from Dallas players, uh, uh, you know, the uh, Dallas fans mad at us because of, uh, you know, the signing another receiver, another number one receiver to the squad, which will, it will be on the opposite side of. Uh, Michael Thomas, who we're going to have Emmanuel Sanders on the right-hand side, or the opposite of him, whichever, wherever uh, Michael Thomas is, he'll be in the opposite. <coughs> we are an offensive nightmare to every team. And then we went ahead and we got some defensive um, add-ons. We went and got Michael Jenkins back. We re-signed Ma Jenkins back into uh, our offensive our offense, so we we're not going to be hurting that like we thought we were going to be. We pretty much kept the defense we had, kept the offensive line we have improved in the spots we needed to improve. And <clears throat> excuse me, now we have um, you know people out there uh, being jealous of the Saints. You got Philly fans, definitely. I know Mr. Brunson over there is crying his ass off. Oh, the Saints, you know, they're crying and, and they, because we signed this guy for one year. For one year, what you gonna do in this one year that you haven't that you have that you haven't done since 2017? You haven't done shit since 2017. You barely made it into last year's playoffs. If Dallas would have beat you, you would have not made it to the playoffs. <coughs> it's that simple. A team that didn't made it. They would have made. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, you are barely over five hundred. Just why are you talking? Why are you talking? As a matter of fact, you are you were a five hundred team, weren't you? weren't you a five hundred team last year going to playoffs, or, or, or barely over five hundred? What were you? What nine and seven? That's that's the record you're bragging about. That's what you're. So happy about it and saying that we're mad at we can't be mad about a garbage ass team like yours. We can't be mad about Philly when we have beaten you time after time. Can do you even remember the last time that Philly be, beat the Saints? Do you even remember? I think I remember I think it was like 2014. The last the last memorable time that you guys beat us. At least something that was, you know, uh 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 uh, uh, an important loss. Besides that, you all not done nothing to us. So why are you bragging so much and why are you talking so much about the Saints? Take us out your mouth. Worry about your division this year, right? Dallas has got an actual coach now. Y'all need to be worrying about that. Don't worry about the Saints. We're going to come over to Philly. We're going to whoop your ass like we, you know, y'all came down here and got your ass whooped. We're going to go up there and Philly and do it over there. I'm going to embarrass you again. And if you really, really, really believe that your Philadelphia Eagles are much better than my Saints, put something on it. Stop talking. Stop running your mouth so much. You talk too much and you act very little. Mr. Brunson, Mrs. Brunson, keep your, keep, 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 put some pants on and stop being such a little bitch. 
and accept the fact that your Philadelphia Eagles will be second best in the NFC East. It's your boy, Cram to the Cram, Cram Dollar Holler, saying, who that? And see y'all this upcoming season.